CO2 rising, bizarre weather, natural disasters, what should we do? The world's climate does have a chance, and it's right under our feet, and yet we're still destroying it. Humus would be a powerful means of carbon storage. Why don't we talk about the fact that the, Borden, the ground stores around twice as much carbon as the entire amount in the atmosphere? In the past, natural processes simply always converted excess CO2 into biomass. Today, that no longer works. Why? We're heading for a global catastrophe. What forces stand in the way of the right measures? All of our agricultural land in Europe has become desert, there's no denying it, yet efforts being made to cover it up. Hormones against weeds. In the Soviet Union, chemicals are the trump card. The most important thing for the new crop is fertilizing with minerals. What was it that led to the worldwide destruction of agricultural land? Agricultural machinery has an enormous influence on soil organisms. Have we followed the wrong path, only to incur ever higher costs? And the solution is actually to be found in a new ecological form of agriculture that creates humus. Could it be that, until now, we have failed to notice the most important factor for climate, organisms in the soil? Research in French Guyana. Why have ancient native Indian soils remained fertile for 1,200 years? We're investigating as to who prepared these hillside fields, which plants were cultivated, and what purpose these cultures served. What secrets were known to the pre-Columbian farmers? Does this soil actually contain the key to solving worldwide problems? In Amazonia, researchers have discovered 2,000-year-old yet extremely fertile earth. Terra Preta has become the hot topic with regard to high humus content. In Germany too, researchers find similarly persistent fertile soils and are amazed that the soil is fertile with humus that has remained stable in the earth for 2,000 years here too. It takes hundreds of years to create the thin, fertile layer of earth that sustains us all. Now this is all at stake. Hidden away in the life beneath our feet is the last chance for our climate. to understand the life inside, if we are to rescue life outside. Taking action for our climate, research, changing minds. Humus symposia take place regularly in the Styrian ecology region of Kindorf. Not only is knowledge assimilated here, but also ideas and discoveries are directly implemented in practice. Each new possibility is tested critically. Humus generation is becoming a race against time. At the moment, the approach to composting is unfortunately all too often preoccupied with considerations of disposal, and that has to change in the future. Targeted humus generation allows soil to be revitalized. And the result is around 200,000 tons of CO2 stored in compost spread on the soil. The results of large area long-term trials are more important than ever. Soil research is becoming a matter of survival. All over the world, scientists are looking for solutions. 
Another important factor influencing humus and carbon content in soil is fertilization. We should shift much more towards organic methods. It has been proven that humus content can be raised over extended periods. Austria could then fulfill Kyoto Protocol requirements. One could employ this stable material in the form of black carbon as a management strategy. Some important facts are still not generally known. Under what circumstances does soil bind CO2? How can the interdependencies be explained? The soil is the digestive organ, the stomach of the plant. These aerobic organisms have needs similar to those of humans and animals. If we effectively overload the stomach, then the soil gets diarrhea and the plants have problems. Presentations, studies, collaboration. A solid scientific understanding of the organisms in soil and the application of this knowledge will have a decisive effect on our future. What is the secret underlying good agricultural land? In what way does soil quality influence climate? Why does agricultural soil need earthworms? There's no erosion where there are plenty of wormholes. Fertile soil was created in the middle of the Egyptian desert, offering thousands of people work and prosperity. How did this wonder come about? Healthier plants mean healthier animals and healthy people. This process, which we initiated 30 years ago, this process is underway today. What can the world learn from Egypt? Old-fashioned agricultural models have no future. But there are alternatives. There are now some 25,000 hectares of mixed cultivation in Austria, and this combination of peas and false flax goes together very well. The opportunity is there for us if we trust in nature. That nature has capabilities that we hadn't perceived at all till now. Another very important point is water retention capacity. Brazilian farmers are trying new methods, record yields without tillage. Then we have planned crop rotation, where we plant certain cultures but don't harvest them. Here, the plough is no more than a museum exhibit. Decades ago, soil loss in this area had reached extreme proportions. The levels of erosion after strong downpours were disastrous. Today, ruined earth has long been a thing of the past here. Man finds himself still outside the flow of natural cycles. Will we grasp human generation as our climate's last chance? And it has been demonstrated that it really is possible over 10 to 15 years to raise carbon levels significantly. And moreover, that this entails a whole range of advantages for the business. And the entire excess will be outside and our climate problem will be solved. Negotiations are going on for the post-2012 period and it would be great if soil management, um, grassland and cropland management was included. The forgotten climate aid, humus. A film about the unimagined potential of forward-looking agriculture.